2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the final stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Tour Championship is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, I'm ready to get stuck into it, so let's go right into this opening hole. Yes, a converted par five into a par four. Oh, they moved it up significantly, just playing over 440 yards this par four, straight back up the hill, and a pretty straightforward tee shot. So it actually kind of lulls you into a little bit of a uncomfortable feeling as straight as it is. There is danger out to the left and certainly out to the right. Trees, hairy, rough. You just can't miss it right and expect to knock it on the green. You must hit it in the fairway or even in the left-hand side rough to give yourself any chance of finding this green. Green tilts from back to front, two deep bunkers front right and back left, and anything long on the screen, you're making fives and sixes quite easily. Every single player is going to be happy to walk out of here with a four. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Looks like this one's hitting safely for the fairway. The opening hole, Richard Eastlake, is not an easy one, is it? It is not. Second shot plays straight back up the hill. A green that tilts from back to front. Two bunkers on the opening of this green, right and left, pose all sorts of problems. Quality shot, that one. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Ooh, a little bit of a rush of blood by the looks of it. Just 10 feet to the cup here. And down she goes. Currently at three under for the day. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Opting for the five wood. Should find the green here. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm down on the sixth hole watching Jim Furyk set up his next shot. Setting up here with a very long putt. That wasn't your best effort, was it? This putt just five feet away from the hole. Well done. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. You liked that, didn't you? Just missed the hole. Butting for birdie. So after that hole, well, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Currently in first position. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead loop. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Playing from around 190 yards out. Looks like they've got the five wood. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, guys, I'm down the fifth hole. This is Kevin Kisner. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Trying to get to five under with this putt. Oh, looked like they hinged in that stroke. Ooh, right by the hole. And this one is for bogey. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. 
Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. We've arrived at a par four hole. That's heading for the fairway. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm on the ninth hole. Jim Furyk's just getting ready to hit. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Big chance here. Let's return to live play now. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. Make sure you get both the line and the speed right here. It's a long part. This part of about seven feet to the hole. Oh, just missed. Bogey putt coming up here. Back-to-back -back bogeys is never nice, but then she goes. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can't rebound from that. Currently two under for the event. The sixth hole at uh, East Lake Rich, one to get after. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot plays straight back up the hill. So a little length helps. Taking aim from about 220 yards out. And here we are with the third shot. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. This one has eyes for the hole. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, they're in the first cut, and it kind of made its way down deep into it, so I don't know if they can get all that much onto this. Sitting at three under par, currently in the lead. Lovely touch. Well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Solid par putt, that. Now two shots up after that one. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. That one's heading down Broadway. Opting for the six iron. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Almost went in. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. I'll tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. Bryson DeChambeau now with one of the great highlights of the day. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Okay, let's get back to the action. There's part of about six feet coming up. Ooh. Can make this one. It's for par. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next.
Let's have a look at Kevin Kisner from just a short time ago. Third shot now. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. That forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. And coming up well short. That's some good golf right there. He has this putt to save his par. Ouch, that hurts. This is a bogey putt coming up. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We have a par three on this one. Going with the five wood. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Just three feet to the cup. Those are the kind of putts the best in the world make with monotonous regularity. And that's a couple of bogeys on the bounce, I'm afraid. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Let's head to the 15th for another highlight. Here's Jim Furyk in the go zone. This is how you do it, seven days a week. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after a bogey at the last, they're looking for a big drive on this hole. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Let's head over to the 13th. And about 120 yards out from here. Let's get back to it, shall we? From about 100 yards. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. That's an awful error. This shot from the first cut of rough. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Quite often, the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Okay, I'm on the 18th hole, and Jim Furyk is just getting ready. Time for the fifth shot. Let's return to live play now. In a world now full of power players, isn't it wonderful to still have the likes of Jim Furyk out there competing? In fact, he's the only player on tour to have two sub-60 rounds. I'm in awe of him because of that fact alone, not just because of the fact that he's won $72 million plus in his PGA Tour career, but he has not let the lack of length in his game bother him whatsoever. He goes out there and is unafraid to take on any competitor, any time, any tournament, anywhere in the world. My hat's off to Jim Furyk for being as awesome he has been for as long he has been. Well, good shot then. Right inside the range. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Okay, let's head to the next. 
And that's going to put him up to even par. And moving down the leaderboard as well. And we've arrived at a par three. Well struck. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Mm, just hammered that through the line. Okay, steady now. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, they're never nice, but that's the wrong time to go back to back with bogeys. And just a few holes remaining. Let's see what they can produce. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And there's a lot of pressure on the line, Rich, as we get to the closing holes at Eastlake, and here we are at 16. Tough tee shot, 454 yards, deep bunker down the right-hand side. Tee shot plays straight back up the hill. Go ahead and give her a wallop. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? I'd say it's about 25 feet to go from here. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Double bogey putt coming up here. Job done. Let's head to the next. And with that effort, now three over for the day. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. And as we get to the penultimate hole at Eastlake, Rich, what does it require? The tee has been moved back some 60 yards over the last couple of years, putting a premium on finding the fairway. Those bunkers down the left-hand side are menacing, to say the least. This is their fifth shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one is chewing fiber. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Well, that looked good for a long way. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Now four back after that hole. And after a recent switch of the nines here at Eastlake, the finishing hole's gone from a tough par three, Rich, to a really gettable five. Go ahead and take out the driver and enjoy this tee shot. It might be difficult, but if you hit it in the fairway, you'll definitely be rewarded by being able to go for it in two. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. Make this for a round of 75. That was a gallant attempt. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And that will do it. His work is done here. Well, that's a shame, Rich. You never like to see that gifting a small lead down the stretch. It's a difficult pill to swallow, but I think the player will look back on this tournament and realize that when they're in a position to win, they can't afford to make the mistakes that they did. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.